Hi, Pete Hartel here. Today is Rishi, which is the common name for Ganoderma lucidium. It's a deep root rot pathogen and uh, death sentence for a tree, but the nice thing about it is that when it decides to fruit, it produces a polypore, beautiful red shiny polypore that you can dry and convert to a tea. It's called the mushroom of immortality and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to grow, we're going to take advantage of this pretty aggressive uh, fungus to inoculate four different species of log, logs and see who comes out best for producing reishi. I would presume that all right, this thing is still heating, but it's okay. It's a 318 now, which is good. So we need more, more stuff. So you hold it with two hands, make sure the trigger is there. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a row of six inches of uh, holes, six inches down thing. Now stand on this side so you can watch what's happening. I need one of you to hold. Terry, you're excellent. You, you hold this log at one end. Okay, then we're going to turn, okay, the flow of nutrients in a log is great this way and poor this way. So that means we're only going to go over about another inch or two. If you look, all right, we've got one row of holes there and then in the middle, one inch or two inches over, I'm creating the next row of holes. So what I'm going to do, if I keep going, it'll be exactly as Robert describes, I'm going to create a diamond. This is the most efficient use of that inoculum. All right. Zoe, here we go. Yeah. do two things right away. First of all, there are a bunch of inoculators in front of you, but they're two different types. One of them is designed for your thumb. Don't use them because you're going to, it's called carpal tunnel syndrome. Yeah. After you use these, it's the palm. Those are, those are nicer. This is an obligate aerobe, which means that, uh, that this is the mycelium on the outside. I, and we're going to dump this in. The total cost of this is like $23 for five pounds. And these comp this company is really good. Okay. So what I want you to notice is that to see the white on the outside? Who can take this out? The white on the outside, this is the mycelium and it's growing a lot better than it is on the inside. That's because there's more oxygen on the outside than there is on the inside. But you're saying, well, wait a minute, it's in plastic. This plasticity is not impermeable to oxygen. So oxygen can get in here, but there's just not quite enough, so they put on a breathing patch. So whenever you store this stuff, make absolutely sure that it's stored like that so the breathing patch is still done. You do this, the fungus will die. All right, so keep that breathing patch up there. Okay, so let's get a log. We're gonna pick just, we pick a sweet gum and we're gonna put it on the end here. Yeah, bring it over. All right, here we go. Stick it between there, that's good. Okay. 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 Take your finger, put it on that thing, and feel how firm. It's got to be like that, okay? That's called good sawdust wood contact. If it's not like that, it's not going to work as well. Okay, put your finger in there and feel it. Feel, feel it. You did a great job. Okay, that's what we want. Yeah, they're inoculators. They're not doing Yeah, it's red. So why do you care? I'm lowering it down and we're going to paint the ends. We are covering the end of this log with wax so we can prevent moisture loss while they grow. <laughs> it's perfect.
What we're looking for on the uh, this white is mm -hmm. the same thing that we're going to look for Ganoderma lucidium mm -hmm. farishi when it comes out the end of the end of the thing. And this is what's beautiful about painting this with wax, because you'll see this come out a lot quicker than you'll see it out on the bare on the mm -hmm. bare wood. Mm -hmm. So we finished uh, inoculating all the logs this morning. We've actually done uh, four different types of logs. We inoculated sweet gum, tulip poplar, uh, white oak, and some hornbeam. And so we actually are trying to speed up the process a little bit. And so instead of putting the logs in the woods like we normally would, we're actually putting them in this room and covering them in plastic. And we're hoping that it'll speed up the colonization process. And then in a month or two, once we see um, white mycelium starting to form uh, on the top of the log to show that it's been colonized and we'll put it outside. So we're hoping to get Rishi within this year in 2018 and um, yeah we're excited. Thanks for watching. <laughs>